Welcome back to the Hamilton Network. While it may be a bit yet before we're all able to gather to take in dinner and a show, the students of Marianne Demsar's drama class at Bishop Lyon Catholic Secondary School are looking to bring you part of that experience virtually with their first ever virtual live murder mystery presentation. To share where you'll be able to solve the mystery, director and teacher Marianne Demsar joins me now. Hi, Marianne. How are you? I'm doing awesome, Scott. Thank you. And I hope you're doing well, too. Well, yeah, if I could just, uh, you know, get my mouth uh, working this morning, it'd be perfect. But, you know, <laughs> um, so that it's a murder mystery, right? We, we all probably had uh, some experience with that, but this one's a little bit different. Tell me how this works. Well, we've been putting on plays at our school. We have the BR players and we've been doing something every year and the kids are awesome. So, of course, last year our production got cut short because of COVID. And this year we kept trying to think of what we can do. And we had a different variety of things. And then we got sent home and back to school. But we came up with this idea as a group. My BR Drama Council brainstormed all kinds of ideas. And we thought that a virtual murder mystery could actually work. And it is working. It is something that we can perform live. So we have that feel of a play, as well as being virtual. And each child is at their own home. They have their own background. And we put it all together with this awesome technology that's now available. So tell me a little bit about the story uh, itself. What, what kind of a mystery is it? What are we looking for? All right, so there's this mansion, the Lockwood Mansion, and the lady of the house mysteriously died one night. And there wasn't enough evidence to say it was a murder or who the murderer was. Now, five years later, new evidence has surfaced, and the daughter has requested that a seance be taken. So Madame X and a few of the other guests who knew Lorraine have been coming to this house now five years later on this day. And we're hoping that the true identity to who murdered Lorraine Lockwood will be revealed. Wow. Uh, so and there's got, this has got to be a challenge, especially trying to do this uh, coaching vir students virtually. How, how has that been? Well, it's definitely been a challenge. I mean, with all teachers, just regular school is a challenge. Such a big learning curve. Never used any of this computer technology before, but we love to learn. So we're learning all these different things. And so we found out the different meetings. We found out different ways to make this happen. And the kids are so awesome. They're so helpful with ideas. Staff is great. And we're able to find a way to make this look pretty darn good. Yeah, I mean, for the kids, I was going to ask you about their experience. They're enthusiastic about this, or um, is this? Do they actually feel like they're really in a play, even though they're at home on their on their devices? Everything is a challenge in the pandemic, and what's so great about teenagers is they are resilient. They want to do well. They want to be included. So yes, having a play on stage would be way better. But this is something they did not let up on. They kept saying, yes, we can do how we're going to find a way. So although it's different, they are finding ways to make it work and they are having a great time. Yeah, I guess in a way it, it's sort of like um, you might consider it training for television because here I am standing here talking to a camera, right? Or uh, for filmmaking perhaps or something like that. Um, but you feel that the, uh, the camaraderie and, and the uh, enthusiasm is there for, for them when they present this? It will be when they present it. We do, you know, chat um, online so that they have a feeling for their characters and a feeling for each other. But no, of course, the personal touch is missing. They don't know because some of the cast members have never seen the other cast members before because they're in different grades. They only know them through this venue. Uh, so that is very different. But they're still, they have their own little group chat that they chit chat to each other and, and, and pass off ideas to each other. So it is very different, but they still get together like, like professional VR players making this happen. And uh, when they present it, you'll see that it will be very cohesive. Now, on uh, my technical, uh, you know, head is, is spinning here because I'm wondering, how are you going to do this uh, online? Is it, is it just a, a, you know, a screen with uh, 16 faces or are you going to switch to uh, from character to character to character? How is that all gonna work? 
Well, we're going to start with a uh, a video that kind of promotes everything. So I have a BR promo group, which is a group of four grades and girls who created this trailer. And then after that, you will see two hosts and they will explain how the show proceeds. And then we have the tech of sound effects. So you have thunder and lightning, etc. You'll see the picture of Lorraine Lockwood in her portrait in her room. And then we go to the different cast members. So sometimes there'll be two cast members. One asks a question, the other does an answer, and they're having this conversation. At other times, it will be focused just on one of the characters where they have a monologue and we go deep into their thoughts. And another time, yeah, we're gonna have all eight suspects on at the same time, having a conversation with each other. So I just have to make sure that all the cameras are working, that they have their mics on before they talk. And then of course we have some virtual graphics that we're putting in and sound effects. So with uh, COVID, I can't really have anybody in my house or be at school. So my family bubble, my niece and nephew are helping me no. with the tech part. And that's it. And that's just it. Me and one other person. That's it. Well, this is an enormous project. It was really a complicated layered project to take on. As a teacher, what inspired you to, to, to go the extra mile on this? Oh, well, I'm a drama teacher. You have to have some drama in your life, but it's the kids. It's the kids that inspire you. You want to give them an opportunity to have as much um, normalcy as possible. Um, we've always worked hard to, to promote the arts at Bishop Bryan. It is a fabulous art school, and drama is one of those components. And, and the play is something that the kids have cherished and have really grown with. So how can you say no if kids want to do this? So I tried and I tried, they didn't give up. So here we are. Okay, so for us and our viewers, where do we find this? Can we watch it? How does it work? Absolutely. Uh, there is a link. I have, of course, other uh, teachers that are helping me. So uh, Teresa Poopy would email her. There is a link. Then when she receives your name, she will send you an invitation link. And you can watch. It's free. Um, it is on Teams Meeting, but you do not have to have the Teams app. You just go on the online app. And this way we know who's watching us. And then you can watch the show once you've been invited and then you're given the link and you just watch and you participate we ask you to become a a uh, um an active member as opposed to just a spectator so have your notepad ready take down all of your notes because you are going to be the detective and then at the end we're going to open up the side chat and you're going to put in who do you think was the murderer how do you think they did it and why <laughs> i'm going to take a look at all of these different answers and we are going to find the one that best follows the solution and you will become super sleuth 2021 <laughs> the inaugural it's a giant game of clue it's a giant game of clue yeah okay well marianne i hope wish you all the best what's the date of this it will be this wednesday june 16th okay. it starts at seven o'clock you can start logging in at 6.30. I do hope you attend. It will be awesome. Hey, where are you going? What are you doing on a Wednesday night? <laughs> Family night, date night. Join uh, us, please. Okay, thanks, Marianne, for your time. I really appreciate it. It's very interesting. Thank you so much, Scott. No problem. Now we continue to look at some of the unique community-generated content shaping our city with the last in the series on individual